Good morning, and today we're going to give you a two-month update on George Emmerich Jr.'s plants that we've acquired. We have 49 of them, and you can see a few of them are starting to bloom. Now, the last heat wave, most of the flower buds aborted, but there are two on Mr. Emmerich Jr.'s plant number two. So we do have several more here. Let me pan down for you. You can see they're all getting some great growth. And I definitely think there is some overlap of varieties. Although there are some really unique ones like this one. So I was reading more into Paul Thompson's book because I've learned that most likely these were shared with George Emmerich Sr. And Paul Thompson, they all kind of shared material. So this is definitely some of the varieties are in Paul Thompson's book. I just have to match them up. And luckily, he provided some with flowers and fruit, which I'll show you some pictures of in a little bit. Look at this one, though. It's definitely different growth. So we'll see. Time will tell. But it's nice to have them all potted up and doing well on 49. This one's doing great. And then there's definitely some more, like, Hilo series polyrhizus, but this one's definitely a small cutting, but different. It's got more color on the ribs than the other ones. So that's definitely an exciting one. This is number 16. All right, let me go show you some more. I was a little worried about some of them. Like, this one's number two. You can see how skinny that growth was. But it shot out a lot of new growth. So especially some of these really large pieces that I was able to keep together without having to break apart. You can see this is all one three-year-old cutting. It's just awesome. Now this one does not have any fruit or flowers, I should say, but it definitely has a whole lot of new growth. Lots of epiphytic roots. It's just going to kind of wrap around this whole entire tree in no time. You can see I expect fruit from this one next season. So this is some new growth in just two months. And these seem really happy being under this California pepper tree. And I just don't wanna leave them here too long so they get attached to the fence. But they all seem really, really happy just in this sort of lighting. They're doing really great. You can see how beautiful George Emmerich Jr. number nine this flower bud is. It's very, very purple. Seems like it may just stick around to set fruit. Well, time will tell. But we have probably about 10 or 15 plants that look very similar to this one. So I'll show you a few more of them. They do have some subtle differences as well, so time will tell, but I don't think we're going to get very many fruit this year. I'm spending a lot of time and energy rooting and plumping up. They're very beautiful, so I'm excited. I think they're going to be some high quality plants in here and old school DNA. Now, I did find one thing interesting I'm going to show you. So I find these two very interesting. I think they may be the same. And I believe they might be something called Panama. Now you can see in Paul Thompson, he describes them in his book, or shows pictures of the flower and the fruit. And he describes it as very similar to what this looks like. Horny, which is the edge is kind of that woody. The spines are small and dark, and the color is definitely more like an olive green, especially in the full sun, with like a bluish tint. It's very interesting, especially kind of as you turn it in the light. So I've been putting, I put these in the greenhouse, and I'm hoping to see some new growth. And if the new growth is bronze, then this is most likely going to be the variety called. Panama. Now this one seems a lot happier, but no new growth. These things 
these plants seem really slow to grow too because these cuttings are three years old and you can see they're the smallest of any of George Emmerich Jr.'s cuttings. So there you go. That's the two month update. We'll keep them coming. Give us a like and a subscribe. Have a great day.